Uh, we are ready to resume the trial. I hope everyone had a restful and relaxing weekend. Uh, we are uh, ready to continue with the evidence. Uh, the state is still presenting its evidence. I should note that the attorneys are present along with Mr. Mew. We have 14 jurors in the courtroom. Mr. Smestad, who is the next witness? Uh, we call Owen Peliquin. And Judge, could we approach really quickly? Yes. Apologies for the extremely long wait on this video. All I have to say for myself is that I've been very, very busy. So let's not waste any time like Anderson is trying to do. We'll just skip right past the sidebar and finally get started with the beginning of day six. This is the last testimony from the Dude Bros. I'm not sure why it took so long to get this guy on the stand, but he's the last one. Let's get started. Sir, please come forward. Uh, please face the clerk. Raise your right hand. She will administer the oath. Do you surrender the testimony you have given this matter? Will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall be God? Thank you. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Right. Mr. Smestad. Oh, we say, state your name for the record, please. Owen Peliquin. How do you spell your last name? P-E-L-O-Q-U-I-N. Uh, Owen, how old are you? I'm 19. All right, and uh, what do you do for your living? Are you going to school or? Um, right now I'm a bar back and I do snow removal and landscaping. Um, what town do you live in? Uh, Afton. Uh, did you know a person named Isaac Schumann? Yes, I did. He was my best friend. How many years did you know Isaac? A lot, like probably like five or six years. Did you go to school together? Yes, we did. Were you with Isaac back on July 30th of 2022? Yes, I was. Were you with him on the Apple River? Yes, I was. And were you with him when he was killed that day? Yes, I was. Um, back on July 30th, 2022, how old were you then? I was 17. Um, had you finished high school yet? No, we hadn't started senior year yet. Was that the summer before your senior year? Yes, it was. <clears throat> had you ever been on the Apple River before? No, that was my first time. Did you ride to the river with Alex Vang? Yeah, we all rode together in Alex Vang. You rent tubes? Yeah. Got on the river? Mm-hmm. Said yes? Yes, that's yes. Um, were you drinking that day? So unfortunately, before we get the answer to that question, the feed from the courthouse cut out because of technical difficulties once again. And this has happened several times throughout this trial, but I'm usually able to find another version that has all the missing testimony. Sometimes I can't. This is one of those situations. If this testimony exists in video form, I just can't find it. So we're just going to pick it back up where the feed from the courthouse resumed. I believe we only lost about a minute, maybe less. Was he in a tube? Uh, no. Was he with anybody else? No, he was not with anyone else. Uh, were you ever able to determine if he was with the group? Um, no, I never. I never saw anyone else. With All right. Him. Um, did you ask him what the heck he was doing standing in the river? Um, yes, we, we did, yeah. Did he uh, say to you something about looking for a phone? Not that I can recall. All right. Do you remember talking to police about this the day that that happened? Yes, I do. Um, do you remember telling the police that he said he was looking for a phone? I don't, no. All right. If, if it's in the transcript, is that something that you, you would have said? Uh, if it's in the transcript, yeah. Uh, as you sit here today, you don't remember that? No, I don't remember saying that ever. Um, at some point, did he approach your group? Yes, he did. And can you describe how he did that? He just weirdly like sprinted at us, like just made us all super uncomfortable. It was. Were, were you sitting in the tube when that happened? Yeah, we were all sitting. All right, we're gonna play some video for you here, on. <laughs> what is he on? Whoa! 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 When you testified just a. A minute ago that he had sprinted up on you is that what you were referring to yeah what you just watched on the video yeah. um was that your voice saying uh, yo get away that was <clears throat> uh, did he get away not once uh, did he grab onto your tubes yes he did did he stop your tubes from floating down the yeah, river leading. yes he did it is a leading question please refrain once he grabbed onto your tubes were you able to continue your journey no we were not what did you do after he grabbed onto the tubes um, we all got out of our tubes and were just, like, scared wondering what was going on. Did you move away from him? Um, to an extent. We got, we got up and away, like, from our tubes, yeah. Other than saying, yo, get away, did you say anything else to him at uh, that yes. point? Yeah. What did you say? Um, I, we were calling him a pedophile because he, at one point, did say something about little girls. Couldn't really make out fully what he said, but I heard him say something about little girls, and then we all just 
that didn't sit right with any of us, and so we just we're trying we're screaming at him, pedophile, get out of here, like you're weirdo, like what a normal person would do. I feel like fair to say you were calling him some names. Yes, it was. Did any of your group at that point lay a hand on him after he? Not once. Um, when you spoke to the police later, do you recall if you mentioned anything about the, his little girl's comment, whatever it was? I believe I did. All right. If there's transcripts, transcripts that show you didn't mention that, would that be accurate? Uh, yeah. Did you say did? If there was a transcript that shows that you never mentioned that, would that be accurate? I never did. Right. No, that would not be accurate. I said that. Um, did you have some confusion as to why he was uh, making contact with your group? Um, yeah, very much so. When he grabbed onto your tubes, did he say he was doing that to look for a phone? No, he was not speaking, at, like, really at all. He was just mumbling and just looking really scary. All right. Um, as you sit here today, you've indicated that you were yelling at him and calling him names. Mm -hmm. Looking back on it, is that uh, something you regret now? Very much so. Uh, you wish you'd done some things differently that day? Yes, I do. Did you and your friends continue to yell at him to get to, to go? Yeah, throughout the whole time, I feel like. At some point, did uh, somebody else on the river come over to see what was going on? Yeah, after we called people over for help because right, we couldn't uh, get them away. Did, you, did some folks come over? Yes, they did. Did you know those folks at all? Not at all. Um, were they adults or were they uh, teenagers like you? They were adults. Who was the first person to show up? But... Uh, in, in response to your yells. It was uh, a blonde girl. All right. And eventually, did some other folks come over to you? Uh, yeah, their, her whole group. All right. Um, the, the, the folks that came over, uh, were they male or female or both? Both. Once the blonde lady uh, came over, did she also tell Mr. Mew to leave? Yes, multiple times. Uh, did he leave? Not once. At that point, uh, once these other folks came over, is it fair to say uh, you, uh, you and your friends were less scared? Yeah, definitely. At that point, were you laughing at him? Yeah, we kind of just thought it was all fun and games at that point because we thought the adults would handle it. Did Mr. Mew say anything about why he didn't want to leave where you guys were, the area where you were? He was not speaking. Were you able to see his face as the the blonde lady was yelling at him? Um, to an extent, yeah. His face was just emotionless. Like, like if you looked at him, it looked like he was looking straight through you. Um, did he look scared? Did it? Did it look? Did I look scared? Did he look scared? No, not once. He looked like he was like somehow kind of having fun. Objection, speculation. Sustained. Did you hear Mr. Mew call out for help at any time? Never. Now, at some point, uh, as he's talking to the blonde lady, did you see him uh, have a knife? Um, yes, I did. Can you describe how that all happened? Um, it's kind of blurry, but I just remember. Just, we were all in, like this, we were all together. And then I just remember, like, looking at him and then looking down at his hand, and his hand was just gripping a knife. And then, yeah. You know where, it came, where he got the knife from? Yeah, it came out of his right pocket. All right. Had, had you seen it in his pocket prior to? I saw the clip, yeah. And did you describe the knife to the police? Yes, I did. Did you see him take the knife out of his pocket, if you remember? It's really blurry. I can't really give you an honest answer. We're going to play the video. Before that, I have one question. When you saw the knife, did you say something to your friends about the knife? <laughs> yes, I did. What did you say? I said, bro, he's got a knife. And I tried to pull some people back. All right, we're going to watch that video right now. <laughs> is, is that the point where you uh, saw the knife? Yes, it is. Um, we're going to go through these... Uh, through that section of the video, um, slowly, as, as it was playing, did you hear your own voice saying something about the knife? What was that, sorry? As that video was playing, did you hear your voice saying something? Yes, I did. What did you say? I said, bro, he's got a knife. Um, once you said that, the video appears to show you taking a step forward. What were you doing? I was trying to grab my buddy Nelson and pull him back, and then I didn't know the other girl. I just tried to grab any other person and pull her back, too. After you did that, did you move away? I believe I did. I, I don't really remember much from All right. that point. We're going to go through some stills here. 
Uh, do you see yourself in that picture, Owen? Yes, I do. Oh, is, is that you in the pink and blue shorts there? Yes, it is. Can you describe what the expression on your face is at this point? Just pure shock. Um, what, what was that face? Uh, why were you making that face? It's because I saw the knife. Stop. Is that the step you took forward to grab uh, Ryan Nelson? Yes, it is. All right, keep going. Now, when you saw the knife, uh, which hand was he holding it in? His right hand. Did you, as you were standing there, did you see him uh, strike anybody? I did not see him strike anyone, but I heard it, and I watched her stumble backwards. Were you looking at the knife when that happened? I don't know exactly what I was looking at. Where were you looking at the time that uh, you heard what you thought was a punch? I really don't know exactly where I was looking. But fair to say you were not looking at the blonde lady? No, I was not. After you heard something, did you see the blonde lady have a physical reaction to what you heard? Um, yes, I saw her stumble backwards. All right. Did you see whether she ever went down in the water? Um, she didn't, like, fully fall down. She, like, stumbled back and kind of, like, caught herself. All right. Um, at that point, what did you do? Um, I don't really know. Did you see anybody strike Mr. Mew? Um, I didn't really see the strike, but I did see Mr. Mew fall. Uh, did, you, did he fall in the water? Yes, he did. Do you know whether or not he still had the knife in his hand at the time that he fell? I do not. Um, did you see anybody else with a knife? No. Did you have a knife? No. Once Mr. Mew was in the water, did you see anybody hit him in the water? No, not, not in my memory, no. Not in my memory. Memory, no. Did you see Mr. Mew cut or stab anybody with the knife? No, I was also quick. I didn't see any of it. Did you yourself ever lay a hand on Mr. Mew? No. Overruled. I didn't, I didn't know. At some point, did you see Mr. Mew get up out of the water? Um, yeah, I saw him stand back up. Is this the point... Um, where uh, Mr. Mew had stood back up? I don't know. All right. Uh, do you see yourself in this photo? That might be my left arm. If we zoom in on that, would that help you? Yeah, I think that's... Do you see yourself in that photo? Oh, yeah, I do. I guess I'm in the way back. All right. What kind of expression are you making on your face? I have my mouth wide open. All right. At that point... Do you remember how you got back to where you were in, the, in this, this uh, picture? No clue. At some point, did you realize that Isaac had been stabbed? Yes. Did you see that happen? I didn't see him get stabbed, but I saw him fall into the water. And my buddy Alex was calling my name to come and help. Did you go over to where Isaac had fallen? Yes, I did. Um, what did you do when you got over there? We picked him up and brought him to the shore. Uh, were you able to see that he had a significant wound? Yes, I was. Um, what kind of, where was his wound? It was on his chest. Uh, what did you do to assist Isaac? I tried my hardest to stop the bleeding. Did you um, bring Isaac over to the shore? Yeah, with Alex's help. At some point, did some folks stop to help? Yeah. Did you have a phone on you at the time? I, know, I think my phone was in his bag. All right, Ed, did you use the phone? No. Or well, Oh, yeah, I did. Well, eventually I got my phone back and I ended up calling his mom. Did some police officers eventually show up on the river? Yes, they did. And was Isaac um, eventually taken off the river? Yes, he was. Um, did you follow him up? I, I did, yes. Did they um, eventually put him in an ambulance? Yes, they did. Take him to the hospital? Yes. And did you follow? Yes, we did. Uh, at some point, were you informed as to what Isaac's condition was? At the hospital? Yeah. And what was it? He was not alive. And Sustained. Don't answer the question. He'll ask another one. Did you yourself take any pictures of recording or recordings of this incident, Mr. Mew? No, I did not. Um, you're aware that Jawan Cockfield did? Yes, I am. Have you watched that video? I have once, yeah. Um, when you're at the hospital, did you give a statement to the officer? Yes, I did. To an officer? When you gave him that statement, did you were, were you trying to be accurate? Yes, I was. Um, were you, do you believe that you were impaired at that point still? I believe I was still in so much shock. I still didn't really comprehend everything. All right. 
No other questions. Mr. Trophesy. Mr. Pelican, you gave a, a 17 minute long uh, recorded interview to law enforcement. Okay, do you remember that? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Or after the river or at the hospital? Uh, at the hospital, you gave an interview to detect, I'm sorry, to investigator Andrew Dittman. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. All right. And it, investigator Dittman, I don't know if you remember this, uh, there's a transcript of it, mm -hmm. asked you about your contact mm -hmm. with Mr. Neal. Do you remember that? Not really off the top of my head, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember from question from Mr. or from investigator Dittman? Okay, so about an hour and a half, two hours into it, this guy, how does it, I mean, does he walk up to you guys, float up to you guys? Your answer, we were floating and then we look at him and he was just standing completely by himself with some goggles on. And then we were like, what are you doing? And he said, oh, I'm looking for a phone. Do you remember providing that answer to that question? Not at all. Is that true? Very true. That happened? No. That didn't happen? I do not remember. You don't remember what happened that day in the river? Well, I remember. So did he or did he not tell you that he was looking for a phone? I don't recall him ever saying that, no. Okay. Is your memory better today or is it better on the day of the incident? I'd say it's better today. It's better today, almost two years later. Yes? Yeah, like, yeah, I've been able to think about it a lot. Okay. Well, in between the time of the incident and today, do you ever reach back out to law enforcement to make any corrections that you might have had? No, I'm pretty young. I wouldn't have known how to do that. Okay. Still one. It's not something I learned. I didn't ask you a question, sir. You were asked by um, the state about whether or not you mentioned to the police that there's a statement that Mr. Mew told you that he was looking for little girls. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Okay. It's not in your statement to police. I'm telling you that. Hmm. Do you know that? Checks no, that's a question. Oh. Sustained. Do you know that it's not in your statement, any, you your recorded statement to police anywhere I'm that you not say aware that, that he was looking for little girls? I do not, I don't recall, no. But is it your testimony that you recall telling officers that? I feel like I did, yes. I still do. I feel so like then I it did. should be in this. It should be, yes. I'm almost positive I did. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm almost positive I told them that. Bruh, I'm literally almost positive. Well, if you're almost positive that you told them that, would you have an explanation for why it's not in here? No, sir. Your honor's speculation. Overruled. No, sir. You don't mention to police, but we saw an interview, I'm sorry, we saw a video um, of Juwan Cockfield um, calling Mr. Mew a raper. Do you remember that? Um, slightly, yeah. Okay. And do you remember at that point, Mr. Mew just kind of being a little bit away from you guys and Mr. I, hold on. Oh, and Mr. Cockfield just yelling at him calling him a raper. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember floating towards him. Do you remember? My question was, do you remember Mr. Cockfield calling him a raper? Yes. At that point where Mr. Cockfield calls Mr. Mew a raper, have you, has your group had a conversation with him? I don't really remember. You don't know? I don't know. So at that point, would there be a basis to start calling him names? Um, he was just like standing really weirdly in front of us and we were floating towards him. And I'm, I mean, while we couldn't move our tubes, we were going to run into him eventually. So we just said something to him. I couldn't, I don't really remember what we said though. I'm going to show you this rape, this video mm -hmm. where he calls him a raper. And I want you to tell me if you look like you're going to run into him. Okay. Okay. Grown man trying to have sex with little girls. What the hell? What the fuck? He's a raper! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You look like you're in danger of running into him at that point? No, because he was walking in a diagonal away from us. He was in front of us, though. He was walking away from you, right? Um, you just for a second, that. yeah. And at that point, so he's not 
He's not impeding your path at that point. True? True. Okay. And Jawan Cockfield is holding a phone, is he not? Yes, he is. Okay. And do you know, um, you tell the police, you're calling Mr. Mew a pedophile mm -hmm. because he's looking at you, right? Because he was looking really weird, yeah. And we were kids. You didn't say that you're calling him a pedophile because he said anything about kids, though, right? I remember like I did, but I must not have. You then see Mr. Mew come up to your tubes, right? Yes, okay. very, very quickly. And at that point, uh, I think you said that you were scared. Yeah. Is that true? I was definitely scared. Okay. You'd agree he wasn't confrontational with you guys, right? What do you mean by that? Well, you were asked a question. Was he confrontational with you guys? And you said no. So you'd agree he wasn't confrontational with you, right? Can you elaborate what confrontational means? It's telling you that the officer asked you a question. Okay. And that question was, was he, like, confrontational with you guys? Your answer was no, right? Yep, I mean, if it's there, yeah. Okay, so he wasn't confrontational. He comes up to your tubes. You agree he walks by your tubes then, right? To an extent, yes. And he walks past your tubes downriver a little bit. True? Just a little bit, yep. Okay. You'd agree that you guys move in his direction, yes? Yes. Okay. You'd agree that at some point Isaac Schumann is standing in front of him with his hands up like my hands are up. Yes, right? probably trying to tell him to leave. Well, I'm not asking you what you think he's doing. What I'm asking you is, you see Isaac Schumann with his hands up in front of him, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So, your group is confronting him, yes? I wouldn't say confronting, I'd say trying to tell him to leave. Okay, but you guys are scared. Scared, yes. And you guys are telling him to leave, right? Exactly. Okay. And then you see, and now you know he's alone, right? Yeah, he, I, know him, I never saw he was with anyone ever. Right. And there's the, at least at that point, the six of you. Yep. You see him walk toward the blonde woman, right? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So he walks out of your path, does he not? Yeah, for a split second, yeah. He's over there talking to the woman for more than a split second, right? Yeah. Okay. And you can go by, can't you? We could have, yes. But now you're getting braver because of the number of people that are around. Yes, right. because there was adults and we were trying to handle the situation. Right. You guys start to try to handle the situation instead of just going by, which is what you could have done, right? It was all so quick and like, I don't really feel like no one really leaving that situation because it was all so quick and the commotion was just like everywhere. We were just young kids that were curious as to what was going on and we wanted to see it finish what we were, what we were seeing. You wanted to see it finish because it was on tape, right? I'm not sure I understand your question. Cockfield, Juwan Cockfield's videotaping this entire thing, isn't he? Uh, yes, he is. Right. You wanted to see how this tape played out. You wanted to see how this incident finished, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we ever did it just for like a camera, like a video. Well, do you remember him yelling for the culture? Remember that? I do not. You don't remember him yelling that? I don't. Okay. Do you remember somebody in your group yelling or saying to somebody, you got 10 seconds? Remember that? You don't recall that? Did you say that? I did not. Okay. So Mr. Mew moves over to the blonde. Hmm. You agree there's a path to go through, but you want to see this through, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to see through? Just the commotion. I don't know. We were just watching. We, none of us touched him. None, none of us did anything. Right. You want to see, the com you want yeah. to see how the commotion... And I, we didn't want to leave... Also, the two girls that were talking to him alone. Like, I mean, there's just so much stuff, like, you couldn't really say, like, we should just leave. Because I don't know who would just leave in that situation. Because it was all so quick. People and who were scared might want to leave, right? Well, that was a question. Overall. <clears throat> right? Could you repeat that? People who were scared might want to leave, right? Yes, but when we saw the adults, we felt more comfortable. Oh, I, you guys began to call him a pedophile and a predator, right? Yes. 
You guys are taunting him, aren't you? I wouldn't say taunting. I'd say just telling him how it was, and he made us feel that way, and he scared us. And So you were paying him back? I wouldn't say paying him back, no. Well, would you agree you guys are around him? All no. pointing, hold on, all pointing at him, chanting at him, right? Um, we weren't really all around him, no, but we were chanting and saying, pedophile, get him, like, he's weird, all that stuff. Mr. Pelican, that's your group kind of behind Mr. Me, right? Yeah, on his right shoulder, yeah. And you guys are doing what I'm doing with my hands, which is you're raising your arms, pointing at him, right? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to play through it. It was at 2373, I think. 2386. 2386. That's you right there, wasn't it? Yeah, in the pink and blue shorts. You don't think you're taunting him? I would say I was pointing at him. You don't think you were taunting him, though? Objection asked and answered. Overruled. Am I answering? Yes, please. Thank you. Um, I felt like I was pointing at him. I, you've said that. My question to you, though, is do you believe your actions there with the rest of your friends are taunting him? It could be considered that, yeah. And you're taunting him because you're feeling more confident and brave because of the other people, right? That's one reason. Yes, sir. He's alone. That's another reason, right? Yes. So... And at that point, you'd agree it's more than 10 against one, right? There's more than 10 of you against Mr. Mew by himself, right? Yeah, but, I mean, no one really, not everyone was, like, punching him or doing anything to him. My question to you initially was the numbers. Yeah, it's more I'd, than I'd 10. I'd say there's probably about 10, yeah. Okay. We, only one of us can talk at a time, okay? Sorry. No, it's all right. So those are the reasons that you are taunting him is your confidence, your bravery is up, and the number of people around are also up. Right? Yes. Okay. You hear, do you hear the blonde, when he walks over, when Mr. Mew walks over to the blonde, she's screaming at him. Yeah. You heard that. Yeah, she's screaming, telling him to leave, get out of here. And she's swearing at him, right? Probably, yeah. She's in his face, isn't she? Not like in his face. I'd say probably like a foot apart, two feet apart. A foot or two apart. Yeah, just like like t telling him to leave. She hadn't asked you anything about what had happened, right? No. Okay. So in terms of what you are seeing and hearing, she just walks up to him and tells him to leave, right? Yeah, because we were calling like, help get this guy out of here. Like get him out of here. Call him a pedophile. Yeah, exactly. You calling him a pedophile, right, other people came around. Exactly, yes. Would you agree the more that you guys are calling him names, pedophile, predator, the higher the temperature is getting, meaning the more aggravated people are getting? You'd agree with that, right? Not that I know. I don't know other people's feelings. No, what I'm saying is what you observed. I couldn't really tell you for sure or not. Do you remember or do you remember seeing... Mr. Mew waving. Like I did not see that. Hand. You don't see that? I did not see that, no. You do see other people come over from the blondes group, though, right? Um, I would, everyone kind of came at the same time. Like their group came over. Okay, and there was, while that may or may not be correct, there are at least seven, eight, six, seven, eight people that come over from their group, right? Uh, yeah, probably around that. And at that point, you have to be feeling pretty confident in terms of the numbers, right? Yes. So at that point, you getting near him, you're not worried about that anymore, are you? Not as much so, no. Well, there's pictures you're within yeah, exactly. inches of him, right? Yeah. Okay. Object to inches, that's not the evidence. Well, yeah, not inches. Right. The witness a... gives the answers. What the attorneys say is not evidence. I was not. I was probably with hold enough. On, hold on. Just rely, please, on what the witness says. Next question. But you agree that initially starting out as scared, by the end, you're very close to him, 
disappointing, and as you said, some people might consider taunting him, right? By the end, I mean, I was in complete shock because I saw a bunch of people stabbed. In terms of when you were taunting him? In terms oh. Yes? Um, yeah. So, um, Mr. Pe may I approach you? Yes. Mr. Pelican, I'm going to show you what has been moved into evidence as exhibit number 104, okay? Um, I'm not trying to trick you, so I want to make sure you and I are on the same page on this. There are initials here. You under, do you see those? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, OP would stand for your name, right? Yeah. And. Sorry, Nelson. Not a name. That's Adam. That's what I said. Right. Right. It's, right. Okay. So it's supposed to be Landon Weir. Wow. This is Isaac. Yeah. Right. Okay. And. It, this is kind of, G1 is kind of where your tubes were in general, okay? okay? Would you say, in looking at this diagram, right before what I'm showing you here, which is at 149 of the video, that's kind of the general setup of where people are in this? I feel this. like in that clip you just showed over there, I was standing next to Ryan Nelson, though. Okay, but you'd agree in general Am I right that this is kind of the general pattern of where people are? Yeah, generally, yeah. Okay. And if, you, and if I have it right, you would agree. Um, people are like where I am to you on Mr. Mew, not directly behind him, but off to his side. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. There's people in front of him. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. And there's people kind of off to his other side. Is yeah. that fair? Yeah. Okay. And if I told you that the evidence has been there, this document, there's 13 people and Mr. Mew by himself. Would you mm -hmm. agree with that? Is that fair? Uh, yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Okay. A lot of us were just like standing there though and watching. Well, you're not telling Mr. Mew what you're going to do, right? What do you mean? Well, you say people are standing there. You agree. People don't know what other people are going to do. Right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. And so. You're not telling him that you're not going to do anything. You're all just standing there. Taunting him. Yeah. Okay. To an extent. Weren't taunting him the whole time. And you'd agree, though, you've already said this, in terms of what, what's going on, you're, because of the number of people, your bravery, you're becoming more emboldened on what you're doing, right? Objection asked and answered. Overruled. Right? You can answer the question. Oh. Could you repeat it? You're becoming more emboldened, meaning your behavior, you're becoming more and more uh, willing to do things because of the number of people around. No, I, I was just standing there and just watching. I never, I never would have ever put my hands on anyone. But he doesn't know that, right? Objection is to what would have been. Sustained. Speculation. <clears throat> Did you, I want to make sure I understand this right. Did you see what happened? between Mr. Mew and the blonde person, the blonde girl? No, I did not see, but I heard, heard, I heard the fist hit her face and then I saw her stumble backwards. I want to make sure I got it right. You said you heard his fist hit her face. Exactly. How do you, if you didn't see it, how do you know he hit her? Because <laughs> he was the only one doing anything to anyone. You didn't see it? I couldn't. I could clearly make out that that's what happened. How? You just said you couldn't see it. Just because, I mean, he was standing right in front of her and she, he looked like he had a crazy look on his face and she stumbled backwards and she was standing right in front of him. Clearly I could make out that he hit her. Clearly I could. How? You didn't see it. By using my brain and putting the pieces together, I could clearly tell that he hit her. And, I mean, he clearly hit her. I mean, there's no denying that. I'm going to ask you to explain to me, because you didn't see it, mm -hmm. what you, how you know that. How I know what? You said he clearly hit her. Because I, I heard it and I saw her stumble backwards. You heard something, right? I heard a fist hit a face. I mean, if, if, have you ever heard a punch? The punch makes a noise. I heard that, and he was standing straight in front of her, and she stumbled backwards. I could clearly use... All the context clues to put together that he, she hit, or he hit her. Okay. So you believe that he hit her to the point where there was a noise like this? Yes, there was. Okay. Do you know which hand he hit her with? I could not tell you, no. Do you know which way she fell back? 
She kind of like stumbled back like a little bit like to her like right. Like she like stumbled back like at a diagonal to her right just a little bit. Okay, so I won't. So she stumbled. If I'm looking at you, she stumbled this way. Yeah, like that way. Okay. So would that make sense to you then? That if there actually was a punch, it would have come and gone this way to knock her. So it would have come and hit her left side to make her go to the uh, right. I'm not exactly sure. I I just heard it and saw it. Okay. Um, does she fall down? <coughs> she stumbled. I wouldn't say like fully fell down though. She like caught herself a little bit. And after you say that you that this happened. Mm hmm. You say everyone got on his ass and started punching him, right? I said that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, in the video it clearly shows not everyone got on his ass and started punching him. I must have just said that because I was just in shock. So. What I'm asking you, is that what you said? Uh, I don't recall exactly saying that, but if it's on the paper, I'm sure I said it. You see a person, you don't know the person, but you see the person punch him in the face and knock him in the water, right? Uh, I didn't really see the punch, but I saw him fall into the water, yeah. Okay. Do you hear or see the person run around him and crack him across the side of the face? No, I did not see that, no. Okay. Did you see the guy in the yellow shorts come up behind him and shove him from behind while he's in the water? No, at that point... Like, I was in complete shock already. I don't remember much from that exact moment. What were you in shock about at that point? The knife. Seeing the knife. Yeah, and then I kind of just went black for like a couple like minutes or so that I don't really, they're all really blurry. I just remember bits and pieces. So seeing the knife made you go black, yes? To an extent. You'd agree if, if your memory, if, if you remember this. Yeah, if I remembered anything, okay. I would agree. There's a question. Mr. Mew doesn't hurt anyone with the knife until and after he gets punched in the face and knocked in the water, right? Yeah, only because he punched a woman. My question to you is, he only, the only time anyone gets injured with a knife is after Mr. Mew is repeatedly punched, slapped, and pushed. Yes? Um, I mean, I don't really know. I didn't see it all. I didn't see a punch, a push, and a slap. I, just, I did see him fall at the beginning into the water. And then, by your statement then, people got on his ass. What does that mean to you? It means just, like, I mean, after anyone punches a girl ever, there's obviously going to be a consequence. That's not okay. That's not what I'm asking you. What are you what asking? What I'm asking you is, what does it mean to you when you say, everyone got on his ass? What does that mean? That means, I mean, people hit him, yeah. Because he punched a woman. People hit him, right? I, I couldn't tell you exactly how many, no, because I, once again, don't really remember. I know I didn't. You didn't touch him, right? Not once. And he didn't touch you, right? He did not. Thank the Lord. And you don't see, well, what Isaac is doing. Do you? No, I did not. Okay. Now, you, I think you say to police, Isaac was not going toward him. Yeah, of my memory, I didn't ever see him close to him at all. It was a shock to me. Okay, so your memory doesn't include Isaac grabbing him by the throat? I don't know. I don't think he ever grabbed him by the throat. Does that appear to you that Mr. Mew's, somebody's got their hand around Mr. Mew's throat? Uh, yes, it does. Can you tell by the <clears throat> gold bracelet on the left wrist that that's Isaac Schumann? Um, I don't really know whose brace that that is. You don't know that that doesn't refresh your memory or that you're not able to <clears throat> say who that is, right? Not, no, I can't. But you are able to say that that person's got him around the throat. Yes? Yeah, it does look that way. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm finished, sir. Thank you. Mr. Smestan? All right, thank you, Mr. Pelican. You can step down. Uh, please see the witness coordinator in the back, and she'll tell you where to go next. Okay, so that's another teenage testimony.
His selective memory has been copy and pasted from the testimonies from the other clueless teenagers. And everything that they seem to consider to be common sense is far from common sense in my eyes. They all seem to think that there are reasons that a mob would have for giving an old man a beatdown, like hitting a woman. Let's just say for the sake of argument that there's undeniable proof that Mew hit the blonde chick. That may give you a reason to defend her, but it is not a valid reason for administering a gang-style beatdown. And all five of these surviving kids are absolutely sure that the things that Mew did justify him getting a beatdown. Well, I've got news for you kids out there. There is no justifiable reason for giving someone a beatdown. If you are truly benevolent and nonviolent, the thought of punching someone doesn't even enter your mind unless you're literally defending yourself. But that's not what's going on here. This was retaliation because they thought he punched the blonde girl and their heads are full of absolutely nothing. I mean, these kids don't even know what words mean. How do you get to be 19 years old? and not know the definition of the word confrontational. Also, who says things like short water? We all know it's shallow water. Who says things like raper? The word is rapist. Did you kids all skip English class? At the end of the day, this testimony was completely pointless because it was almost completely copy and pasted from the last four dude bros. And much of it, but to a lesser degree, is copy and pasted from the scumbag group as well. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So expect another video soon. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Yep, I got you, bruh.